we are now going to pre-crystallize chocolate by using a microwave, which is the fastest and ideal method of crystallizing a small quantity of chocolate. I'm now going to put it 30 seconds in the microwave. When tempering or pre-crystallizing chocolate in the microwave, always heat up the chocolate at full power, yet for a short while. Then take it out and mix it well, before putting it back into the microwave. It's the best way to avoid the chocolate from burning, because that would really be a shame and spoil its great taste. So in total we have about 1 minute and 20 seconds in the microwave and as we can see, chocolate is starting to melt nicely. The most important thing now is to stir thoroughly through the chocolate. So we melt away most of the chocolate while stirring it. Movement is still a very important part of crystallization. But as we can see now, there's still way too much lumps and it's still way too thick. So let's put it back in the microwave for another couple of seconds. As we can see now, the chocolate has a bigger fluidity, but there's still a few lumps inside. Though we're not going to remelt it in the microwave, we're just going to keep on stirring until the lumps disappear. Again, movement is the most important part of crystallizing chocolate. So as we can see now, after stirring for only about two minutes, we have a nice and fluid chocolate without any lumps and the temperature should be okay. Let's double check with the thermometer. As we can see, we're at about 31 degrees, which is ideal for dark chocolate. We're going to do another test with a palette knife, just to be safe. We're going to leave the palette knife on the marble top for about a minute, and then it should be hard and crystallized. So, we're one minute later now, and as you can see, the chocolate is completely crystallized. So it's nice and hard. But it needs another 12 hours to crystallize completely. The method is exactly the same if we're going to use milk, or white chocolate, though the temperature for milk chocolate should be at about 31 degrees and for white chocolate at about 29 degrees. And that's how easy it is to crystallize with calots.